Hi guys, welcome to Robo Craze. Today we are going to be talking about the DS18 B20 temperature sensor and how to integrate it using an ESP32. This is the data sheet for the DS18 B20 temperature sensor. It is made by Dallas Semiconductor and here you can find the pin assignment and the unique features that this temperature sensor offers. As you can see it is a digital thermometer which provides 9 to 12 bit temperature readings. Also it can be interfaced using only a single wire. This means that the power for reading, writing and performing temperature conversions can be derived from the data line itself without the need for an external power source. As part of this blog, we will also be learning about ThingSpeak which is an IoT platform service that allows you to analyze live data streams on the cloud. We start off by signing up for a ThingSpeak account. Fill in your email address and fill in the other details that have been asked. Once you press continue, a verification mail will be sent to your registered email ID. Open the email thread sent by ThingSpeak and in the bottom you can see that they are asking you to log in to your ThingSpeak account using the email address associated with your MathWorks account. If you don't have a MathWorks account, don't worry. We'll cover that also as part of the tutorial. Head over to in.mathworks.com and click on sign in. At this stage, if you don't have a MathWorks account, it is necessary to create one. Simply fill in the required details and you're good to go. Make sure that you're giving the same email address for both the ThingSpeak account and the MathWorks account. Otherwise, the two will not be linked together. Log into your MathWorks account and in a different tab, log into your ThingSpeak account. At the home screen, click on new channel. For our application, a channel is nothing but a place where all the temperature values from the sensor will be stored on the cloud. Fill in the name of the channel according to your need and the description. For our application, we are going to be monitoring temperature, so our field 1 will be renamed to temperature. Hit on save channel at the bottom of the page and in the home page you can see that a new channel has been created. Next we are going to be looking at the hardware connections between the DS18 B20 temperature sensor and an ESP32. This is the temperature sensor probe and at the other end of it you have three wires coming out of the sensor. Red is VCC, black is ground and yellow is signal. We are also using a 10k resistor for this application. Connect the signal line at one end of the resistor. VCC for the sensor is rated at 3.3 volts and connect ground on a different rail of the breadboard. From the ESP32 development module, we are using three pins, ground, GPIO 23 and 3.3 volts. Connect 3.3 volts to the VCC of the sensor. Connect common ground and GPIO 23 to the other end of the resistor which is connected to the signal pin of the sensor. 
the other end of the resistor needs to be pulled up high to 5 volts and for this we are using an Arduino. Connect the 5 volt pin to the other end of the resistor and common ground the circuit. Now we'll be looking at the code part. In the code, we are first including all the header files that we require at the top. We are also defining the SSID and password of our Wi-Fi network and the pin 23 which is connected to the signal pin of the sensor. The channel ID and write API key are two other parameters which are important in this application. We will discuss where to find these two parameters in a later section. The setup function is pretty straightforward in which we initialize a serial connection between our laptop and the ESP board. We also start Wi-Fi on the ESP board and initialize the ThingSpeak section. In the loop function, we try to connect the ESP board to our Wi-Fi network using the SSID and password credentials provided. We also try to receive the temperature sensor values continuously and publish them to ThingSpeak at an interval of 2 seconds. Now let's go ahead and upload the program into the ESP. To find the channel ID and the write API keys, Click on the channel that you recently created. On top, you can find the channel ID and in the API keys section, you can find the right API key. As you can see, I am continuously writing the temperature sensor value on the serial monitor and every time I press hard on the sensor, the temperature gets warmer and the sensor readings go up. If you open the graph on the ThingSpeak channel that you have created, you can see that the temperature gets updated there periodically. In this example, we are dipping the temperature sensor probe into hot water and you can see the jump in temperature readings. In this tutorial, we will also be learning about Pocket IoT, which is an Android application. With the help of Pocket IoT, we can remotely monitor the temperature readings that have been stored in cloud. Its installation is pretty straightforward. Head over to Play Store and install the Pocket IoT app. Once installed, enter the channel credentials and you're done. Well guys, that was all about the DS18B20 one wire temperature sensor and uploading its temperature readings to the cloud using ThingSpeak. We also saw how using an Android phone we can monitor these temperature readings using the Pocket IoT app. For further documentation, please visit our blog. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.